Welcome back to our channel Tubies. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss that has been making headlines in Singapore's political landscape. We'll be delving into the recent statements made by presidential hopeful Tan Kin Lian and the reactions of political analysts. So, if you're interested in Singaporean politics and want to stay informed, make sure to watch this video until the end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to receive updates on the latest news and analysis. Recently, Tan Kin Lian, a former chief executive officer of NTUC Income, announced his intention to run for the presidency in Singapore. He served as the CEO of the cooperative insurance company for an impressive 30 years before stepping down in 2007. Since then, he has ventured into the computer software business and provided insurance consultancy services in Indonesia. Mr Tan's presidential campaign has been centered around the idea that if elected, he aims to shape government policies by collaborating with the government and influencing decision-making. He believes that the president should play a more active role in exercising veto powers, particularly concerning Singapore's reserves and the appointment of key office holders. He also emphasizes that the president should closely discuss these matters with relevant ministers, aiming to ensure better decisions are made in the interest of the people. While Tan Kin Lian's aspirations may sound promising to some, political analysts have expressed skepticism about the feasibility and appropriateness of his proposed approach. They argue that the role of the president in Singapore is primarily ceremonial and constitutional. The president's responsibilities are outlined in the constitution, and they do not include guiding government policies or actively participating in the decision-making process. Analysts point out that policymaking is the domain of the elected government, led by the prime minister and the cabinet. The president's role is meant to be non-partisan, acting as a check and balance to safeguard the country's constitutional framework. The president does have certain reserve powers, like vetoing budgetary matters related to Singapore's reserves or key appointments, but exercising these powers is typically based on the advice of the cabinet. To better understand this situation, let's take a closer look at Singapore's political system. It operates under a parliamentary republic with a Westminster-style government. The Prime Minister is the head of government, and the President serves as the head of state. The President's role is largely ceremonial and symbolic, representing unity and continuity in the nation. Singapore follows a multi-party system, with the People's Action Party, PAP, being the dominant political party since the country's independence in 1965. The President is elected through a presidential election and candidates must meet certain eligibility criteria to run for the office. The president's term is limited to six years, and the president does not hold executive powers or run the government on a day-to-day -day basis. Political analysts have raised concerns that Mr Tan's proposed approach, seeking to influence policies and actively engage with government ministers, could blur the lines between the president's constitutional role and that of the elected government. They argue that it's essential for the president to remain impartial, and not be seen as advocating for specific policies or political agendas. They also emphasize that the president should not function as an alternative power center to the elected government. The Singaporean political system is designed to ensure a clear separation of powers, with the elected government responsible for policymaking and governance. The president's role, on the other hand, is focused on safeguarding the country's stability, acting as a unifying figure, and representing Singapore on the international stage. In conclusion, Tan Kin Lian's aspirations to actively shape government policies as a potential president of Singapore have sparked discussions, among political analysts. While his intentions may be well-meaning, many experts argue that such an approach goes beyond the constitutional role of the president, and may risk undermining the delicate balance of power in the country's political system. As we eagerly await the upcoming presidential election in Singapore, we encourage you, our viewers, to share your thoughts and opinions on this topic in the comments section below. Do you believe the president should have a more active role in policymaking, or should they strictly adhere to their constitutional duties? Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay informed about the latest developments in Singaporean politics and beyond. Until next time, thank you for watching.